Hi everyone, I'm Ken Linden Dykes from Saddle World in Kent. Um, basically what I'd like to do today is first of all just talk about the different sorts of saddles. You hear lots of people talk about eventing, dressage, GP, VSD. What does this mean? Well if we start here, this is what most people would regard as a VSD saddle or a fairly straight cut general purpose saddle. Straight cut being it doesn't go too far over the horse's shoulder. So what we have here is a, a saddle, this particular one made by Kiefer of Germany, and it has a knee roll and a thigh roll, which incidentally is detachable. And this particular saddle has an adjustable tree made of polymer and sometimes reinforced by carbon fiber. This next saddle is what you would call a slightly more general purpose saddle. As you see, there's a bit more to the front. Again, it has a knee roll. This particular saddle has also a point and balance strap. This is a point strap. This is a balance strap, as well as the normal straps you're familiar with. That's because this particular saddle is a fairly wide fit and would go, would suit a lot of cobs, sometimes warm bloods, where saddles tend to move forward or move about and the action of using this particular strap, the point strap, would make stop the saddle or help stop the saddle going forward and this balancing up will stop it being pulled down at the front or indeed swinging from side to side, particularly if a horse has got one shoulder bigger than the other. This particular saddle, English made, very nice saddle made by Thoroughgood, not only has this got detachable rolls, which means that a rider with different length of leg can put them in a position that suits them um, better. Point strap, normal strap, but a very clever addition here is you see this strap is on a loop which can come off and be put on there if a saddle is moving across or swinging about or indeed bouncing up and down. A slightly flattish seat for a good wide fit also has a flat back, again, Kobe or Araby, point, balance strap, very necessary in some cases. Same make of saddle, same configuration, but a much narrower fit for a, a horse with a higher wither, an older horse or a thoroughbred, something of that sort. We now come on to dressage. Now, the rider in with a dressage saddle will want to carry their leg further back being the perfect classical angle is you can draw a line between your ankle, your hip and your shoulder. Therefore you need to have quite a long flap. Isn't pressing on the shoulder. This particular saddle is made by Ideal, one of our better makers in this country. Very nice saddle. Generally a conventional tree of wood and steel. Um, a, and, and a traditional at that. Again, a traditional tree. This particular saddle is handmade by a company, a Patrick, who's regard, who wins the Master Saddlers competition year after year because of the sheer quality of what he does. Um, quality is very nice to people who understand leather and like the feel. I mean, I even feel like stroking this because it's so nice. But look at the way that that is shaped through here. Very beautifully put together piece of equipment very very expensive. Um, if I give you an indication of this saddle will be costing certainly over £2,000. If we go back to this one you're talking about £699. Now this is a lovely saddle, super quality, made in England, but here you're really talking about Aston Martin. This is a very familiar saddle to many people. Uh, it's made by Bates. It is adjustable. It's a dressage saddle again also has got the adjusters for different lengths of leg, a balancing strap here which can be tightened depending upon how well the saddle sits on a horse and if it moves and perhaps more importantly this panel can be dropped in just four or five minutes and a different metal head put in here for a different shape of horse. 
and um, widely used all over the world. Polymer tree, changeable head. Again, English saddle, please note with these dressage saddles how so very often they have a really big roll. That's because, um, well as the Germans say, you will put your leg here. You, it makes you put your leg in the perfect position. When I was started eventing, I hated the thought of dressage because I like the thrashing around the cross country. And so I carried my leg too far forward. So I had to have this kind of reinforcement to make me sit in the right place. And indeed, when I was hacking and using the, the, the horse for road work, I'd always go in my dressage saddle because it eventually made me look like a half presentable rider. And when I started to carry my leg naturally in a good position. <clears throat> we now come on to jumping or eventing saddles. Um, many of these, this particular make, the Nelson Pessoa saddle is very famous and it's known as a close contact panel. Now what we mean by that is the panel is thin, often made of polymer, can't be adjusted in the same way as these panels which are uh, flock or wool and these can be changed, adjusted to suit the change of course. But then we have a later Pessoa saddle which indeed can be adjusted. The front again would have an adjustable metal front as well as a flocked panel which can be changed to suit the horse if it happens to be asymmetric or very young and young horses can change dramatically and you really would like to have a saddle which can be adjusted substantially so you're not having to change the horse all the time. This is an eventing saddle. We call this semi-close contact because it has again a flocked panel but you'll notice only one flap. This is a single flap saddle. It means you use something like a dressage girth so that the buckles are up here away under the leg. So not, they're not sticking under the leg here but they're away from the leg so that um, you can get closer to the horse. And so that's a one piece saddle. Again, uh, English, uh, nice English maker, black country. Again, a panel which can't be adjusted very much. This particular saddle, made by us, has got an adjustable tree and very importantly you can put these wherever you like to suit your leg. And you will notice with most jumping saddles they have a roll high here and not in front of the knee like some general purpose saddles here. So if you have, if you're held higher, it means it doesn't matter if your leg is terribly long or if that goes over the front of the panel because you're being held here and that itself is a secure thing. The higher you're held, the more secure you are. So with this system and this system, you can actually get nice and close to the horse, your leg can come to here and you're being held here and you have a different size of roll as a rider preference. Semi close contact again, Cardinal Saddle Company, fixed knee and thigh roll for those who like that. So, what happens is you get a sort of that effect to hold the leg and an, an adjustable panel. So, those are the basic types. There are many others, but this gives you an overview of the size and shape. So much can be adjusted for the horse and adjusted for the riders, others can be adjusted just for the rider. You'll have a very big choice now.